Welcome back to Space Weather News, your daily source for all things space weather related. If you enjoy our videos, please consider showing your support by subscribing to the channel. Today, we'll delve into the recent events that unfolded on the surface of our mighty sun during the past 24 hours, and take a peek into what lies ahead in the coming days. Solar activity has been moderately active, with a few significant occurrences capturing the attention of our solar observers. One of the prominent features on the Sun, known as Sunspot 3367, held a captivating display. Yesterday, at 281558 UTC, this sunspot exhibited a remarkable M4.1 flare, releasing a substantial burst of energy into the solar system. Following this intense flare, an associated coronal mass ejection was observed, beginning at 281548 UTC in Soho, Lasco C2 imagery. The trajectory of this CME indicates that it is not Earth-directed. Beyond sunspot 3367, other regions on the Sun's surface also made their presence felt. Sunspot 3380, displayed subtle growth during this period, showcasing the dynamic nature of our star. Meanwhile, Sunspot 3386 exhibited signs of decay, adding to the ever-changing landscape of solar activity. Joining the stage was a new sunspot, identified as Sunspot 3391. This newcomer wasted no time and produced a notable C6.7 flare at 290734 UTC, capturing the interest of solar enthusiasts. Alongside the C6.7 flare, Sunspot 3391 also emitted intriguing Type II radio emissions and a non-Earth-directed CME from the eastern limb of the Sun. Adding to the solar symphony, a filament eruption drew attention as well. This captivating event occurred at 28.2030 UTC, and our diligent astronomers are currently analyzing the associated CME for any likelihood of an Earth-directed component. As we gaze into the future of solar activity, the forecast offers insights into what we can expect. Over the 29th and 31st of July, solar activity is anticipated to be relatively low, with a chance for M-class flares taking place. In conclusion, the past 24 hours on the Sun have provided us with intriguing solar displays. While some regions showcased flares and CMEs, there is no immediate impact on Earth to be concerned about. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic adventure through space weather news. Your support means the world to us, and we appreciate the many of you who have sent us your donations via the Super Thanks feature. If you want to further show your support and become an integral part of our journey, click on the Join button. By joining our YouTube channel, you'll have the opportunity to deepen your connection with us and help us continue delivering captivating updates and insightful analyzes about our dynamic universe. Thank you for watching.